after re-watching the latest episode of WandaVision, or for a more specific, episode 7, where we find out that, or Vision finds out, most of the backstory that he forgot. So we, as the viewers, found out that he doesn't remember anything past the events of WandaVision. He doesn't remember the events of Age of Ultron or Civil War or even Thanos uh, taking the stone out of his head or even Wanda destroying him before Thanos took the stone out of his head. And I don't really like to dabble too much in like extreme hypotheticals, but when I was watching him, and I know when you when you see the episode, he as he's being revealed, you know, uh, his past by Darcy. He, you know, as he's breaking the fourth wall, he is he, he, st he starts becoming kind of sympathetic to Wanda, and not, you know, having to go through what she did. And he was like, well, for me, you know, it's only been like a few weeks but you know for her it's you know a lot more has happened and it's only it's only felt like like a few weeks for or it's only been actually a month or so since the events or what wanda experienced in her mind but that's not the part that i want to focus on what i want to focus on is how he's reacting when darcy's telling him about how he was created from jarvis and how tony was trying to make him into ultron but then it became like when darcy told him that ultron was his aim was for world domination and you kind of see him kind of pause for a second and let it sink in a thought came out of my mind like what if vision ends up being the villain maybe not the overall villain i've already put out a video where i already discuss where I think or I thought that Ultron is now has now infiltrated vision in his subconscious and I really don't think that we are going to see a lot of vision in this next episode I really believe that vision is going to disappear maybe until the ninth episode and then he'll come back I think episode eight is going to revolve a much more around Agatha and Wanda and obviously that teaser that we saw with that end credit in episode seven. I think Vision is going like I put myself in, in Vision's position. If I had come out of a coma or something and found out all of this stuff that I couldn't remember and I just needed some time to process it, what would I do? I would probably I'll, I'll isolate myself, which many do when traumatic events happen or a life-changing event occurs. You kind of seclude yourself. You kind of just put yourself in an area to let everything sink in. But then I started going a little bit more, how angry he was becoming about all of this even before the events of episode seven how he was angry at wanda for not letting him do what he wanted to do and he's becoming autonomous and i've already put a theory where i think honestly that wanda has been in control of vision since he was created in the age of ultron and if you're interested in any of those two previous videos where all where i link ultron is or vision is ultron or where i think or the theory where i think wanda has been controlling vision since the events of age of ultron go back and check out the videos and let me know if you think you know i'm putting down the evidence correctly but if i'm correct and i and again this is a bit of a stretch in hyper you know in in calling vision the villain but look at what's happened to him. He has no recollection, like I said. Everything how Wanda has been controlling him. When you step away from just the Marvel aspect of it and you put it in normal, and not normal, but everyday occurrence, it's almost like a narcissistic relationship or a very toxic relationship. And, and, and what we're seeing is, is Wanda being that toxic person that wants to keep you know vision under her control under her thumb and this has nothing to do with agatha i kind of think that agatha is gonna i don't know if maybe 
plant something in Vision's brain, but make him look at Wanda in a as the evil person. And it might be maybe not too far down the line, like uh, when he returns in episode nine, where Wanda will have to fight Vision because Vision is going to be thinking or seeing maybe an implant from Agatha putting these thoughts like, hey, she was controlling you. She was manipulating you. Your kids aren't real. All of this stuff, because we we see how are my kids safe when he when he asked Darcy and all that. And, and he was asking all these questions like, who is this imposter, Pedro? And you're like, wow, he's 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 starting to ask these really intense questions. But when you look at it through a narcissistic or a toxic relationship ways, you could kind of easily see how vision not knowing being like an anti-hero can switch and knowing what we have seen we're all still waiting to see what episode eight is going to bring but given the fact that agatha seems to be a very ancient and powerful witch that is not beyond the realm of of her capabilities to implant something or a thought in vision's head as we saw in the end of of episode seven when agatha did her little wiggly or purple wiggly magic and made Wanda see, or we don't know what she's going to see, but it looked kind of like what we saw in with, with Wanda when she was controlling the Avengers and how that kind of went through their eyes and then, you know, made them see a future, the future, whatever vision she wanted to see their subconscious. But it seems that Agatha is doing that with Wanda, or at least it, it appears. So it's not really far or too far to stretch to say, hey, Look at how Vision is so susceptible right now. And he, I think he is so ready to just, he's like a sponge. He wants to absorb as much knowledge right now. And for what he knows, he doesn't know that Agatha is evil. The last thing he remembers from, from Agnes was the Halloween episode when she is at that crossroads. I'm not denying that she's pulling, she's definitely pulling the strings or at least a portion of them. But in Vision's mind, Agatha is still the good person and his wife has been manipulated, not letting him know. And, he, and even Agatha says it like no one leaves here. Uh, Wanda won't won't let it. So Vision, I think when he left, he says, oh, I need to find my wife. But as we have seen, not only in WandaVision, but in many Marvel movies, the misdirection and deliberate, like when we saw Vision you know, as a corpse in WandaVision, as, as far as like being dead, the episode before showed him in full color. We didn't see that gray version of a vision until the next episode when that big reveal was like, oh, you know, here, this is how he, he looked like in, in Infinity War. And we were all shook when we saw that one of the best scenes and frightening scenes uh, from WandaVision, very, very well executed. And Wanda's been the one assuming well, we're all assuming or even visions assuming that wanda's been pulling those strings that wanda's been in full control of everything that has been created so to think that agatha again no one not the, the least the, the next powerful being hypothetically be, be behind wanda and agatha and maybe now monica rambeau with her power is vision so when if agatha felt like she needed an extra protection she's already in good graces with vision when she was crying vision felt some kind of, of of way and he even said i'm going to figure this out i'm going to get this this help for us having vision being the the next big bad or just the villain in wandavision makes complete sense i, I haven't seen anything about vision moving forward so what if at the the ending that we're gonna see at, at episode nine is Wanda versus Vision and, and Wanda has to kill Vision again. Talk about the, and then this drives, you know, uh, uh, Wanda mad, which we already know she's appearing in Doctor Strange movie. That could be understandable why she would lose her mind and then go crazy because no one's helping her. She feels all alone, like, like she told us in one of the episodes, in the Halloween episodes. All of a sudden, the, the, you know, no Avengers are there to help her out. And this witch comes over her, manipulates her mind, takes over her love of her life. And now she has to face the love of her life and kill him. 
Oh, that will send anybody into into madness. Pun intended. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's it, it's a little bit far fetched, but I honestly think it's not out of the realm of possibility and can actually be the last episode that we see. That will make sense why Wanda is considered, or at least rumored, to be the big bad in Doctor Strange. But again, let me know what you guys think. Am I crazy? Am I going a little bit overboard? Am I am I looking too much into things? Let me know in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.